A few weeks ago, while perusing one of my favorite websites online, I ran across a fellow who had suffered a stroke a few years ago, and he had lost uh, a good bit of motor control in his right hand, being non-dominant, since he's left-handed. Uh, he can no longer um, sufficiently manipulate a filler rod with the, uh, with the right hand because he's suffered uh, neurological or neuromuscular control of his fingers and thumb. So I thought maybe I could come up with a device to help the guy out. So I first conceived that um, I would use a, a small RC servo motor to, uh, to power the feeder so to enable uh, and advancing the filler rod through the, through the feeder somehow. And uh, I, while I was at the hardware store looking for ideas, I came across this gadget in a in a random bin. Uh, it was like a buck fifty, and it's a plastic device uh, used to pop the lid on uh, paint buckets. And it just so happened that the uh, that the servo that I had picked out just perfectly fits in the head of the uh, the uh, paint bucket uh, lid popper. Uh, another advantage of, the, of this uh, uh, handle was that two AA batteries just perfectly fits on each side of this handle so that provides six volts to power the servo motor. Uh, once I removed the electronics in the servo motor I got it right down to the, uh, to the uh, motor and the gear drive and I ended up attaching a small rubber grommet to the output shaft on the on the uh, gear motor and that provides just enough friction to advance the filler rod through the uh, through the head of the uh, device. Eventually <clears throat> it evolved into this finalized gadget here. Uh, I ended up uh, incorporating the uh, metal brackets and screws uh, in the device uh, into the electric electrical circuit controlling the, uh, the motor to eliminate uh, a lot of the wiring and soldering and whatnot. And uh, <clears throat> since the end user has told me that he does have fairly good control left of on his um, on the middle finger on his right hand, I conceived that I would place some kind of a switch for him to work uh, and turn the unit on and off by just uh, touching it with his middle finger. So I came up with this little device here. I soldered a couple of uh, copper squares with insulator in, in between them onto the uh, contacts on this uh, momentary switch and then to add this to the circuit I just simply push down on the one battery and separates the two on this side of the handle and um, then I cover that up with uh, this additional piece of Velcro here. And the Velcro it, it really holds that into position very nicely. Then it's just a simple matter to, uh, to roll the, the unit over and pull down on the spring-loaded uh, bearing that provides tension onto the rubber grommet. And I insert the filler rod through the back and out the front and uh, turn the arming switch on and that activates the circuit. Now we're all ready to uh, push the the uh, trigger to advance the rod into the puddle and it works thusly. And my idea is that um, now the end user will be able to advance the filler rod and then dab 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 and then advance some more rod and dab 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 and and uh, probably uh, uh, somewhere along the line he's going to run it into the uh, tungsten and then it's going to be dab 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 uh, uh, dip and grind and then back to uh, dab 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 and advance the rod and and uh, the uh, this unit will accommodate a full length of um, of one sixteenth or three thirty second rod uh, in either aluminum or uh, stainless or, or steel or whatever rod he wants to use, and uh, hopefully it will solve the problem for the fellow. <clears throat>